I received through the post yesterday a nice surprise, a letter from John Davenport, who I've known for years. He wrote me a charming little letter too, there's his name at the top. And what he included was this thing here, which is advertised, which I'll show in a bit deep, more detail. But it's um, something that his company made back in the 19, or sold in the 1930s. His company was actually started sometime in 1890, I think it is, or earlier, as a magic company, making proper stage magic tricks in Davenport's were located opposite the Magician Museum, very central in London, have, 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 a, have had a famous time there. And I've met John several times. So this is a charming letter. And what's more interesting, as I said on the thing, this is something I've never seen before. It was a little novelty comb, which was marketed in the 1930s for six and a half D. Well, it's probably about 50 pence in present day money, half a pound almost. And it's for a joke for people when they try to comb their hair, it won't work. Why is that? Well, I have to look at the item itself. Looks like a perfectly normal, cheap plastic comb. It is that, but it has something very clever done to it, etc., etc., etc. There's the teeth at the top. So why shouldn't it work? It's only when you try it and you find it won't actually work in your hair, you start to look at it a bit more carefully. And if you look at it really carefully, it will be almost invisible on the camera. There's actually a sheet of plastic on the inside, which as John says, is probably celluloid, because this is almost pre-plastic days. And when you try to put something in it, it only goes down the first half a millimeter. At the top of the teeth of the combs is clear, and the half a millimeter underneath that, there's a barrier there. It's a bit of plastic, which is stopping you from combing your hair. What a brilliant idea. I've got the thought of taking it with me to Nuremberg next, next February and showing it to a chap there who, out of Hong Kong who loves magic, who loves uh, practical jokes. And uh, I'll have a word with John first to see if we can perhaps get it remade after all these years and talk about finders fees, etc, etc. But what a lovely concept that is to have that and also to have a nice letter from a man that I much admire and who likes our, likes our videos too, incidentally, because he's done a nice letter and to have something that I've looked like an evening, a little cheap comb, it actually has got a very very clever idea to it, which I've never seen before. So I like it even more, the fact that it will never wear out for me because I haven't got much up there to comb it with. But <laughs> thank you, John. That's, a, that's an ace. <laughs>